while two the Christians two, two chief lessons. Self denial, self trial. We do want to teach you on resolve. Proy toy mazo. Proy toy mazo. Proy toy mazo. We've been limited in advance to be resolved. God has fitted us in advance to be resolved. Proy toy mazo. Pro o rizzo app o app or rizzo and cot and cot are tizzo causes us to be resolved. Roy toy mazo causes 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 that's the work of God work of God. And when we talk about the work of God, we talk about the work of who, Lonely. Talking about the work of who? Huh? Speak up. <clears throat> so the people can hear you. Speak up. You don't have to whisper. Speak up. The Holy Spirit. When we talk about the work of God, we talk about the Holy Spirit with what, Lonely? The Word. With the Word. Can't have the Holy Spirit without the Word. You don't have the Word with the Holy Spirit. This does not mean you're going to heaven because you can answer that. The work of God must be going on in you. The work of God must, must be going, going, if it's going on, what do that mean? If it's going on right now, what do that mean, Lolita? If it's working. If it's, work, if it's going on, if it's going on, anybody, going on. It's moving. Huh? Process. Process. It's going on. While you sleep, it's going on. It's working. It's going on. You're in the process, so you should be making what? Progress. You should be making progress. If you're going through the process, you should be making progress. It's something you should be doing. That's what it is. You that begin a good work, and you shall perform. Perform is something you do. So, toy toy mazo, orizo, aporizo, carartizo. That's those are the causes. Those are causes. To make, to make, that's a word, to make, it does something. To make us resolve. To make us resolve. That's what we've been talking about. So we didn't finish, we're going to finish this up before I get back into my group, to Jim Brown. We're going to finish this up, then we're going to go into my continually group. I'm rebuking from Jim Brown. Okay. Work of God causes us to be resolved. Now, we look at, I have you guys to go and look up these words that means resolve. I ask you to do that. The words that means resolve, resolve is a no, no may, a no, G N O M E. G N O M E, that's number, that's number three, that's 1106. Then that means resolve, that means counsel, consent. It means mind. All of it is done in the mind. It means resolve, resolve in the mind. Resolve, it means to will. Fair definition. Fair definition says it's the faculty of knowledge. Mind, that which is thought or known. What is that which is thought unknown? That which is thought unknown is the Word of God. One's mind, that's the Word of God, the Holy Spirit working in the mind of man. Concerning what ought to be done. Concerning what ought to be done. Resolve my will to be is something you do. Done. The Holy Spirit was working in Regina's mind with the Word, and she did something. She did something. The next word I got is the Nosco. The Gnosko, G1097. That is Gnosko. All of these I ask you guys to go look them up. You could have found them all. Gnosko. And this means to learn. To learn. This means to learn uh, or to have knowledge. Then you got Crino, comes from Crino, it's G2919. 
29.19. That's Crino. Crino. And Crino means to decide mentally. Decide mentally. Means to decide mentally. That means to separate. When you decide something mentally, that means you, you separate or you're determined to decide all, oh, man. To decide mentally. When you decide mentally, you separate. You distinguish things in the mind and you resolve. Then we had Baluo that's 1011. Baluo that means to de to deliberate with one's self <laughs> When you deliver it with oneself, you resolve. That's 2 Corinthians chapter 117. Paul, let's look at that 2 Corinthians 117. Come in. Come in. 2 Corinthians 117. Paul said he resolved. Amen. 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 Paul said he resolved. I like that. He deliberated with himself. He determined. That, I like this resolve. This word, this resolve <coughs> to determine. This is what we're trying to understand. What it is. We, that is us true believers in the soul should be doing. Second Corinthians chapter one. First Corinthians, second Corinthians chapter one. <clears throat> verse number seventeen. Say when I was therefore was thus mighty, did I use likeness or things that I purpose, resolve, do I resolve according to the flesh? That with me there should be yea, yea, nay, nay. For God true, our word towards you was not yea and nay. For the Son of God, for the Son of God, Jesus Christ, who was preached above you by us, by me, Savannah Samantha, was not yea and nay, but it was, but in him was yea. That's what he purposed. He purposed yea. He didn't purpose nay. He deliberated for himself. All right. He didn't deliberate, excuse me, with flesh. Do I purpose according to the flesh? No, I do not. We don't determine. We don't deliberate with ourselves according to the flesh. We don't determine. We don't resolve in harmony with the flesh. We don't make no deals with the, we don't have no internal discussion and make no deals with the flesh. We don't sit down and say, okay, this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to do this right here, I'm going to do this here. I'm just going to do You just did, you just purpose according to the flesh. Well, I know we busy. It's 8, 11 on Satan. It's 11 on Saturday. And I know God done gave me this right here to tell a man. And I know, no, he probably sleep right now. You don't do that. That's deliberating with flesh. You don't resolve with flesh. You don't deliberate. Don't consult. Paul said, I don't consult according to the flesh. I don't consider according to the flesh. Paul said, I don't consider according to the flesh. Hey, this is the second time for it. He said, I don't consider according to the flesh. You missed an end. Oh, look. Then again.
Okay. I hear you. You need to find and consider. That means to deliberate, to think. It means to advise. Consider means to deliberate. That's what I'm putting this here. Deliberate with oneself. That's consider. You look at your situation and your circumstances, and you consider and stop deliberating what type of effect it's going to have on you or your life if you do it this way or if you do it that way. If I say this right here, this is consider. It means to deliberate. Internal, it means almost the same as Bill of Gizmos. It's an internal discussion going on. You got this book. I bought, I bought these books. I, didn't consider them, but I considered when I bought this book. I deliberated with myself when I bought this book. <coughs> when I bought this book, I deliberated with myself. I considered with myself. I say, Regina may not have this book right here. I am going to buy one for her. I say, Regina may not have this book right here. I am going to buy one for her. You got them books, Regina? What about I need a book. See my here. She say, see, she delivered it. <laughs> I just didn't share my money, she told me to see right. <laughs> Consider means to think about. It means to think about with yourself, you only. That's what it means to do. So Paul said, I don't consider, I don't. The word consider, do I consider according to the flesh? The word purpose is the word. Buluo. And it comes from 1012 Bule, which means to advise. Buluo means to deliberate with, it, with self. That is, i.e., consider. You don't deliberate. Now, what you need to ask me is can you define deliberate? What do I do when I deliberate? Deliberate. I see a word in there. You just not? Yes. What? Liberate. That's believing. Trying to free myself. Mm -hmm. That's the word we need to know with me. Right? It's compound. Hello, Trump? Yes, right. I see Libra and liberate. And I, I, know see, that's the yes, I see freedom in there. Yeah. Liberate. Hello? That's right. And we always seeking to do that. Anyway. Yes. Mm. You always want to be free of something, free of duty. Deliberate. See, deliberate the way well. Deliberate means to consider. Right, right. Carefully thought out. How is it going to prosper, benefit me? How is it going to liberate? Me, first person you consider, first person you consider, first person you think about carefully is yourself. That's fornication. That's idolatry. That's pornography. That's fornication. That's pornography. That's idolatry. Let me give you an example. Van goes to the doctor. The doctor asks him, do you snore? He said, did you say no? Yeah. He said no. No. Mama Rodney said, how you know? You be sleep. <laughs> she said, you do know, Van. Van deliberates with himself and says, you snore too? <laughs> we not here about it. <laughs> he carefully thought it out and he considered who? He thinks snore is something bad. Who don't snore? Why do we snore? Because of sin. Why do we snore? Because of sin. He went at the doctor for her. The doctor trying to make a diagnosis about him. He put the diagnosis on her. He wouldn't let the doctor about him. Her heart is fine as of right now. He wouldn't let the heart rock. So the doctor said, may have to do something.
some would you sleep? Do you snore? He said, no. No, 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 no. How do you know? He said, sleep. Who did he consider? Himself. And then he turned around and said, you snored? <laughs> As if snoring is something evil. I think, come on, man. I hear a little later, later. <laughs> what y'all laughing for? I hear a little later, night and don't sleep. What? Eric, Eric. Eric, what? Oh, you know. Ronnie, you too. <laughs> I wake myself up snoring. What? I wake myself up snoring. <laughs> now that is true. Because you do know you still hear while you sleep. Right? Mm, yes. Oh, I hope you don't think your hearing is shut off. <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 no. You can't snore so loud you wake yourself up. Yes. Man, he don't snore. <laughs> Loud enough to wake himself up. <laughs> See, she snores so loud she wake herself up, man. Yeah. You know that's snoring there. Yes, <laughs> deliberate, deliberate, deliberate is libraire. It means libraire. It means it means it means no, we wrong. Liberate is in there. But, yeah, liberate is in there. But it comes from Libra. I thought. Libra means scale. So deliberate means to wait. You're going to wait. That's what you're doing. That's how you are considering. You are weighing both sides. How is it? If I, if I do this, then it's going to say this right here. If I do this, he gonna know and he gonna be right about what he preached and said about it. So I ain't gonna do that. Cause I don't want him to know that he right in what he said. <laughs> so I'm just gonna keep my mouth closed. I heard what he said. And you having an internal discussion, you going back and forth talking to yourself. That's fornication, idolatry for that. And you think you are doing something that's proper. I'm serious about this. It hit me last night. Many of you don't know it. You continue to do it. You don't know how stupid you really are. That is stupid, but you think because you got it from America and everybody doing America, the majority of the people doing it, you think that's wise. You think that's wise. You say, you, you say, you, you stupid. Huh? You say, everybody do that. What's wrong with that? Say it! I was telling, I was telling them, I was telling Ock, I was telling Ock, Eric, and Jeremiah yesterday. Jeremiah, go to, go to Genesis. God, please help me, Jeremiah. Please help him, Lord. Genesis chapter 1. Of the knowledge of good and evil, 
Thou shalt not eat of it. For in the day that you eatest thereof, you shall surely what? Who are we talking to? The man. The man. <laughs> Chapter 3. I'm going to show you something. We ain't through Genesis. We're going back. I'm going to put this in here so I can show you this. Chapter 3, verse 22. The Lord God said, Behold. Genesis 3, 22. The Lord God said, Behold. The man is become as one of us. The man is become as one of us. I want you to weigh that well. I want you to consider that. I want you to carefully think out for I want you to judge not be rash or hasty. Read it again. And the Lord God said, Behold, the man is become as one of us. You consider that? You went through considering and deliberating and carefully thinking that out. So get back with you next week? No. Nope. I know it don't take long. It ain't nothing about uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 14 words. <laughs> That's all it is. You ain't got to count a van. You count a word, Father. I told you to deliberate. You count the words. I told you to think this out. You count the words. What you count the words for? <laughs> I count them too. I don't believe you. I got to see the big words. That's not important. I'm just saying. I know you just said it because you're that's in your internal discussion. You have it yourself. You didn't follow the instruction. I said uh, consider the scripture and think that out. Y'all stop counting the word. That's pornography. That's fornication. That's idolatry. I gotta, I gotta see. That's not even the point. That's my purpose. That's why I'm teaching y'all this. And this is what you guys do. You just purpose according to the flesh. You resolve according to your flesh. Say the Lord God said, Behold, the man has become as one of us. You don't have enough time. What did he say, J.D.? What is he, what is he saying, J.D.? You need a little more time. What is God saying? He's saying the man, Adam, is become, which obviously was not before, he has become now oh, okay. as, huh. the same as mm -hmm. one of us, mm -hmm. the Godhead, the same us that yeah. back in Genesis 1.27. Now say that again because you threw me off. <laughs> okay. The Lord God said, Behold, the man, that's Adam, is become, he now is because he wasn't before. That's all I wanted to hear. That's all you had to say. So he did not have no knowledge of good and evil until he ate from the tree. That's the whole point. He didn't even know what good and evil was when he was formed from the dust of the ground. Amen. He didn't know what good and evil was. He did not know what good and evil was that he ate from the tree. Up until the point he ate from the tree, he had no knowledge of what was good. He had no knowledge of what was evil. He did not know what was good. He did not know what was evil until he ate from that tree. He knew nothing about no good. He knew nothing about no evil. 
Hey, you're a thief of body. You don't know nothing about it. You don't even know what good is. You didn't even know he was good. That's the whole point. He said, now he has become just like us to know. The way he get his knowledge from. He got his knowledge from the tree. How did he acquire that knowledge from the hand of the woman? Okay. What you say? His own hand. What you say? His own hand. What you say? His own hand. Where did she get it from? Surfing. She best believe it. She got it from serpent. She got it from the serpent. She don't know that she no good and evil until Adam eats. Who told you you were naked? Have you eaten from the tree? I looked at the word no, knew, and know, and knowledge. That's what it's all about. And what did that knowledge do to us? Them what? Puffed them up. Yes, it did. Puff them up. Yeah. Preacher, it's always that external. I was just thinking about that. Time. It's always something on the outside. All, all the time. It doesn't change. That's right. And what you have an internal discussion about? What do you always have an internal discussion about? So. What What do you always have an internal discussion about? Something external. Something external. <laughs> you always discussing something in external in internally. You can't discuss it unless it comes from without. It's not how you gonna discuss it and it's not even in you. I sure did. And even I'm going to talk about something that ain't even in it. How? How are you going to talk about it that ain't even in it? How are you going to talk to yourself about it that ain't even in it? Thank you very much. Wait, wait. So he, he had no knowledge of good and evil. He didn't have no knowledge of good and evil coming from the tree. He said he has become, which means there was a time when he was not. I was without the law once, Paul said. But when the law came, Spirit, I died. Yeah, because he knew he broke it. <laughs> he was innocent. I was without him. Right? Because right. the law brings death, don't it? Yes. The law brings death? Yes. Now that I came and told you, you've seen my work. You, that's right. That's right. You got no excuse. That's right. You guys believe it, Mama. 100% right. You was 100% right. Amen. That is it on the 15th chapter. Yes, you was right. But my point is that I'm making what God is telling, what God is saying. He has become. Become means to come to be. Or to happen. So it had to be a time when he was not. And he came to be as one of them. When he came to be as one of them, what did he do? He carefully thought out his situation. He said, I am naked. I'm going to serve him. So me some big people together. He began to deliberate. He didn't deliberate. That's the whole point I'm trying to get you to understand. Deliberation is easy. God only when they can deliberate. When God deliberates, he knows what he's doing. He considered carefully and well. When he deliberated that, he considered carefully and well how he was going to make us. He considered carefully well. He thought out his plan. He knew that Adam was going to hearken to the voice of the woman. He knew Satan's plan all along. You didn't have to put Adam in no corrupt body. For what? I know what he's going to do. <coughs> but I need to induce some fun. I know what he's going to do. He's going to hearken to the voice of the woman. I'm going to kick Satan out of heaven. He's going in the garden. He's going to deceive the woman. She's going to be beguiled. My servant is going to hearken to her voice. He's going to surely die. But I already know made a way for him.
Simple. You know, you stay with Scripture. And you thought we were kicked out of heaven, made out of corrupt body. He was in that dark. He brought him to the tree. All he could do is say, no, he couldn't. In that case, he should have went straight to the tree when he told him not to go to it. If all he could do is go straight to the tree, he could have he could have bypassed Eve, everything was straight to the tree. Why did Satan have to beguile the woman? If Adam was going to go to the tree anyway, to do that. <laughs> oh, he had to have an excuse. No. If, if you got him in a corrupt body, then he can't do no go straight to the tree. But God told him, in the garden by itself, he said, it's a tree to this time. Tree of knowledge, thou shalt not eat with the day, thou shalt eat with thou shalt surely die. You should go straight to the tree. Why didn't you go straight to the tree? That's the Satan was going to go to heaven. No, 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 why did Satan have to beguile the woman? Why do Satan have to be in the garden? Why do Satan have to be in the garden? Why do Satan have to beguile the woman? Why, why do the woman have to give to the man if he's in a sinful body and he can't do nothing but go towards the tree? All of that is unnecessary. That's a dumb vow. What you do all that for, man? You got him a sinful body. You don't need Satan. You don't need a woman. All you need to tell him is, Thou shalt not eat of the tree of the knowledge of good and evil. He didn't break his command like that. Do you, you think you're talking to? Him? Come on. So is God in this corrupt? No, you best believe it. That's exactly what we're saying. That's exactly what we're saying. And then I, I, that's right. Then I show him. In Psalm 69, in Psalm 69 and 4, Jesus makes the statement. Right. Turn your Bible to Psalm 69 and 4. See, all of this is going through me. Let me get back to my teacher. I'm here and I'm supposed to be here Thursday. All this is going through me yesterday while I'm cleaning up waiting for my sons to come. Yep. 69 and 4. What does it say? They that hate me without a cause, for more than hairs of my head. They that will destroy me, bring my enemies wrongfully, I might. Then I restore that which I took not away. What did he not take away? I restored that which I took not away. What did he restore? Go to Psalm, go to Colossians 3. Psalm 
That's the Lord God, right? Right? Yes. Is that, is that right? Yes. So if he got knowledge of good and evil, I'm gone now. So I got to remember this. He cannot, if he got knowledge of good and evil, Charles, he cannot.
Don't inquire about their gods. You don't need to know. So when you get in there, don't ask them how they serve their gods. For what? You know what my will is, and that's all you need to know. No, I want to know why that white man got it and I ain't got it. I want to know where he got the money from. I want to know where he get a car from. Man, where you get the car from, man? Where you get this from, man? You want to know everything's going on work, but you want to be filled with the knowledge of God. <clears throat> so that's why Jesus did the wrong way. Man is being restored in that image. Jesus is restoring that when he took that away. That's the image of God of all men. Oh, amen. He was up to a point, but that did always. He never fulfilled God's uh, uh, complete will. He stopped doing the will of God when he ain't from that tree. Jesus, I do always. This was being restored. <clears throat> Jesus was resolved. You gotta be resolved. All right, what page was we on? We stopped on page 10. That's what we stopped on. We stopped on page 10. We got, we got to get through this. I'm going to try to finish this today. Stop on page 10. Your page 10. What this resolution is. What you got resolution means determined. On purpose. We on page number 10. Are we there? We on page number 10. At the top, number one, what this resolution is. This is what we stopped at. We was on this for about 30, 40 minutes. Let's see if I get through it, I'll go through all that again. What this resolution is. Why we must, we must what? We must resolve before we do. Practice is doing it, right? So before we do anything, before we can practice it, we must be determined to do what we're going to practice. You gotta be determined. Yeah. Or you can practice Christianity. You gotta be resolved yeah. to do Christianity. Yeah. You gotta be determined. Mm -hmm. Hello? Mm -hmm. We must resolve before we practice. Mm -hmm. Not to be flatbacks or apostatizers. That's all it is. That's old English for them. Or oh, it is to be what? Fear that man will be as and as stubble. Which lacks Question one What makes up this resolution And this will Answer It is made of two things The judgment must be convinced Of the goodness of the cause What is 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 the cause, what is the cause? What is the cause? Excuse me what is the cause? What is, excuse me. What is the cause? What is the cause? The work of God. Uh, the work of God, peritori, mazo, proviso, aphorizo, proartizo. Thank you. So you write all this stuff down in your notes and in your paper and you don't even know what you be writing. You do it all the time. But you wrote everything that got on that board. You wrote it down. And I asked you what the cause is. You don't know. But you wrote it down. No, I but uh, Yeah, you got it wrote down. I'm going to get all your papers and pull up all y'all notes. Oh, you wrote it now. What is the, what is the cause, Carol? Uh, I got it right up here on the board. Nobody pays attention. Causes. Roy Toy Mazo, Roy Rizzo, Apple Rizzo, Cart Art Cart Artizzo, Causes to Make. Us resolve. Causes work of God. Done by who? Holy Spirit with the word. So this must be going on. I'm in the process. Making progress. Being restored back. It, it is deep. I can't get away from it. Can't. But I put all this on here. Not even with that there. But it's still there. Being restored back to the image of God so I can, what, Jenny? Thank you very much, so I can do always. This way I don't have to have a what? Thank you very much, son. This, what did I just say? This way. Thank you very much. This, <laughs> this way. This 
way. Thank you. What what you say, Jay? Thank you. See, many that say, y'all ought to be praying and thanking God that you was able to mentally put that together. See how it flowed together? See how it ran together? See how it ran? You see how that ran together? You see how it's run together? You see that, Charles? Yeah. It runs together. It flows right together, right into each other. You don't even have to, you don't have to have an alternative discussion, did you? Yep. You ain't got to determine that. Yep. You ain't got to deliberate with yourself. Yes. yes. That's where your whole problem come in at. You trying to deliberate this with by yourself yep. and with yourself outside the Holy Spirit and the Word of God. Yep. Yep. What you say? That's the whole Thank you very much. That's the whole problem. Doing too well. Thank you very much. <laughs> The judgment must be convinced. Judgment is the decision. Because you think judgment is going to court and the judge judging you and giving you a sentence. The judgment must be convinced of the goodness of the what? We haven't had. Else if it be a joke, it will never hold in what? <coughs> trouble. But when sound arguments, sound scriptures, sound arguments and sound scriptures are alleged, Right? How did we find out the man was good? Sound argument, sound scripture. Hello? Amen. But when sound argument, sound scriptures are alleged, then the heart should be fully what? Swayed. This is one, this is how many parts? One heart. Of what? So the first part of resolution is I need what? Sound. What do I need? Sound Sound scriptures. Thank you very much. I mean sound argument, sound scriptures. Look what it says. Sound. Not say it. I can stand on that. Look what it says, sound, healthy, Hugiano, sound doctrine, healthy doctrine, that's scripture, right? Amen. That'll sustain me, right there? Yes. Maintain me, right there? Yes. Surround me, right there? Yes. Support me, right? Amen. That's my base, ain't yeah. That's What's my foundation? Sound arguments and sound scripture. Thank you very much. Sound argument and sound scripture. That's where I get my argument from. Mm -hmm. Sound scripture. Hello? Amen. When our sound arguments, sound scriptures are led, then the heart should be fully swayed. Mind should be made up. Right? Amen. Right? Yes. This is one part of what? The resolution. When the mind, I say mind, did I tell you? Mm -hmm. Mind and heart, Regina, use interchangeably. Mm -hmm. Mind and heart use inter interchangeably. When I see mind, Caleb, I see what? Mm -hmm. When I see heart, Caleb, what I see? Thank you. When the mind is thus settled, uh-oh, I'm rooted in ground today. I'm rooted in ground today. I, I cannot be what? I can't, you can't move me now. Ain't no way I move from Genesis that God, God made man uh, good. You can't move me from that. That sound argument, that sound scripture. And I keep getting scripture. Don't I keep giving y'all scripture? I keep, he, Regina, he, hey, he keep me good scripture. Let me show y'all something that I showed Ronnie last night. Mm. I'm going to show y'all something that I showed Ronnie last night. I told her that man don't do nothing but divide. Man, I'm going, I ain't even supposed to be this child. Yes, you is. Go to Mark chapter 9. Let me show y'all something. This man said he's the only one. Now go to Mark chapter 9. Let me show y'all something. Shut up, Charles. Shut up. Yeah. <laughs> I'm a fool, right? Be quiet. Preacher. Gotta say it. Gotta I know say it, bro. I know it. I know it. You guys like David J.D. And he's the only bus. That's my sister. Charles said he's seen it too, J.D. When it's when it's about fish, then Mama Corbin it is fish. Preacher, preacher. If if he put him into a corrupt body, then death had to come four times before it came after he ate. You best believe it. If he put him in a corrupt body, he was not predestinated. Me. He was not predestinated for the foundation of it. Don't do that. All right, come on. Okay. Mark chapter nine. Are y'all there? Yes. Oh, Lord, have mercy. Verse 38, read, J.D. John answered him, saying, Master. No, go to 37. Whosoever shall receive one of such children in my name, receiveth me. And whosoever shall receive me, receiveth not me, but him that sent me. Read it again, J.D. Whosoever shall receive one of such children in my name okay. receiveth me. Okay. And whosoever shall receive me receiveth not me, but him that sent me. Read, Jenny. 
And John answered him, saying, Master, we saw one casting out devils in thy name, and he followed, I'm sorry, followed not us, and we forbade him, because he followed not us. Read it one more time! And John answered him, saying, Master, we saw one casting out devils in thy name, and he followed not us, and we forbade him, because he followeth not us. Next scripture. But Jesus said, Forbid him not, for there is no man which shall do a miracle in my name that can lightly speak evil of me. Next scripture. For he that is not against us is on our part. You going? Yeah. For whosoever shall give you a cup of water to drink in my name because ye belong to Christ, verily I say unto you, he shall not lose his reward. Read that one more time, Jenny. I want you to read the one with the part. 40. 40. For he that is not against us is on our part. Now let me show you. So many of y'all might ain't grasp that yet. Let me break that down. This man say he's the only one preaching predestination and the sovereignty of God. Right? And also he says, anybody that do not believe like he believed, and not in grace and truth ministry, don't follow that, right? Mm -hmm. yeah. That ain't what Jesus said. Yeah. Hmm. Yeah. We're not against Jesus. Yep. Y'all yeah. missed it. Y'all yeah. mm -hmm. still miss it. Yep. Mm -hmm. yeah. mm -hmm. Y'all still miss it. Mm -hmm. That hit me yesterday morning too. Mm -hmm. We're not against Jesus. Amen. We're not against. I'm not against Roy Toy Mazo, Pro Rizzo, Alpha Rizzo, Carhartizzo. I'm not against the work of God. I'm not against the Holy Spirit and His Word. I'm not against that. He said, if y'all don't follow Him, <laughs> you get it, Eric. He said, anybody that's not with grace and truth ministry, stay away from them. They got false doctrine. He said, I'm in. I'm not against Christ. me. <laughs> He got the same spirit that those yeah. Yeah. apostles had. Yeah. Yeah. They say, Master, the man over there casting out devils in your name. Yeah, yeah. But he got down here, grace and truth ministry. Yeah. Yeah. We told him, shut up, because you're not a member of grace and truth ministry. Jesus said, hold on, dude. Dennis can't be over there preaching predestination in my heart and uh, uh, speak, uh, uh, speak against me. He doing a miracle in my name. Yeah. He didn't do a miracle in my name. He can't, yeah. what, lightly speak yeah. against me? That's what he said. Yeah. Can't speak evil of me. And that's what he said. Yeah. He said, for leave Dennis alone. Forbid him not. For there is no man which shall do a miracle. In my name, that can lightly speak. Evil. I'm not speaking evil of him. If I'm doing it in his character and his conduct, he said, can't nobody do nothing in my name and speak evil of me. Yes, can't nobody do a work of mine and speak evil of me. It's not possible. Can no man do a miracle in my name yeah. that has the ability lightly speak evil of me for he that is not against I'm not against Jesus I'm not, I'm not against Paul we're not against Peter we're not against 1 Corinthians we're not against the book of Romans we're not against Romans 8 28, 29 Amen. we're not against uh, John 15 we're not against uh, 1 Peter chapter 1, elect according to the foreknowledge of God. We're not against John. We're not against Paul. We're not against Jude. We're not against none of these apostles. We're not against us. He that is not against us. We're not against them. We're not against the word. He that is not against us is on our part unless Jim Brown says so. We're not against them. We're not against Troy Toy Mazo. See, y'all don't understand what I'm saying. He said anybody that's not following them, verse 38, 
John answered him, saying, Master, we saw one casting out devils in your name. He followed not grace and truth ministries. We told him, shut up, Jim Brown, about your teacher. You don't go to grace and truth ministry. Because he's not a member of grace and truth ministry. He don't follow us. Jesus said, hey, look, leave him alone. He there, for well, there is no man which shall do a miracle in my name that can lightly speak evil of me. He said, there is no man that worketh power upon my name who will find it possible soon after to revile me. That same power that uh, was wrought in Christ to raise him from the dead, Paul said, and working in me mightily. If you preach in the gospel, that's working in you mightily. That's the same thing. <coughs> she understand. The gospel is the miracle. The gospel is the miracle. And that's and what she said is that's what they had said about Paul. What she quoting is Galatians. Go to Galatians. Go to Galatians. Go to Galatians chapter two. Go to Galatians chapter two. Oh, okay. Okay. Go to Galatians chapter okay. 2. Okay. Verse number 6. Yeah. But of these, mm -hmm. but of these who seem to be somewhat, <clears throat> listen, but of these who seem to be somewhat, whatsoever they were, it makes no matter to me. God accepted what, y'all? For they who seem to be something in Congress added nothing to who? But contrary wise, when they saw that the gospel of the uncircumcision was committed unto me, and the gospel of the circumcision was unto Peter, for he that brought effectually in what? Peter. To the partnership of the circumcision, what? The same was mine in me the Gentiles. Call over the court. I can go ahead and read this. And when James said this, and John, who seen perceived the grace that was given unto me they gave and me and Barnabas the right hands of fellowship that we should go unto the heathen they unto the circumcision only they would that we should remember the poor the same which I was for to do but when Peter was coming to Antioch when Jim Brown come to Antioch stand him to your face because he is to be He's going to tell him if you, he said if you ain't following grace and truth ministry, you are ignorant. What? What? Because you're not following. What? What? Jesus said, no, you don't have to be a part of grace and truth ministry to have a truth. Jesus said, they don't have to be a part of, of grace and truth ministry. Jesus said they don't have to be a part of grace and truth ministry to have the truth. Is that not what he just said? Yes. That's what he said. That's exactly what he said. And he don't talk to people if they if they don't follow us, don't you listen to them. And I thought of it really hit me when I was cleaning up yesterday, because I remember what Mama Ron Van said. He told me, to don't go nowhere. Go to the park to feed the pigeons. Come again? He told them go to, go to the park to feed the pigeons. <laughs> don't go nowhere. Don't go to over to the dentist. No, don't go nowhere. I'll just go to the park to feed the pigeons. Yeah, because Van had called him and told him that oh. uh, Dennis, we got a preacher right what? here preaching predestination and the sovereignty of God. Oh, okay. And uh, on Sunday, uh -huh. you can go and listen oh, to okay. you know, your, uh -huh. your teaching. Uh -huh. He said, you may as well go to the park what? and feed the pigeon. What? What? Oh, okay. 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 What? 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 We should be rejoicing. <laughs> what? What is it? What is it? What is it? What is it? And what is it? Personal. Okay. 
<laughs> what you say, Ken? Heresy shall come. <laughs> and what is it? <laughs> and that's what we call. It's <laughs> Reddit. Oh, man. That's Tony Reddit. That's Tony Reddit. What is it? What is it? Woo! Yeah. What is it? Persecution. What you call it? <laughs> Manifest token. Amen. <laughs> yes. But there must be also heresies among you that they which are approved may be made manifest among you. You best believe that I'm the only one that will stand up against him! Okay. Okay. The only one that will stand up against him. Yeah. Yeah. Remason up, they won't stand. Get down in Tennessee, I've been on that. Remember, I was in Tennessee. If I was in Tennessee. If I was in Tennessee, he would have no rest. He would have no rest. I'd be on the same channel he'd be on. He said, make sure you put me on right out there. I want y'all to see he got the wrong spirit. Listen, man, look at this again. I want y'all to see it. That's why I keep showing y'all scripture. John asked, what? hey, look, y'all got a Bible, right? Y'all yeah. got a Bible, right? Yeah. I'm going to show you that I'm not making this up. What do I say at the top? What do I say? What do I say at the top? Thank you, Gary. I didn't even see I just seen that. I just seen that. Yeah, Pharisee. I just seen that. The review of sectarianism. Thank you very much. I just seen it. John asked him, saying, Master, we saw one casting out devils in your name. So he's doing the work of Christ, right? Yeah. In the name of Christ, right? Yeah. The person is not doing their own work. No. And he followed it. He's not in the same way. Uncle Lothello. He's not following us. He's not going with us, walking around in all of these different countries, uh, cities and states. We told him, you can't do that. They're not the authority. They ain't had no business forbidding that, man. They ain't had no business doing that. That's the whole point. You don't tell nobody not to do that. We for, who is you? We forbid him. Why did he? Why did they forbid him? Look at the reason. They didn't say the man was lying. Just because he not what? One reason, Ronnie. What is the reason why? Jesus told him what? Man, leave that man alone. Was this, was that, could, is it a possibility that that man could have been part of the seven? I don't know who is the part. That don't matter, Ronnie. That's not the point. He, yeah, he could have been, Ronnie. He could have been. Yeah. The whole point is, he was doing the, the whole point. What is the point of the script? What, what, what is the point of the script, about? He was doing the work of God. Thank you very much. He's still doing the work of God. Just because he's not with you don't mean he's doing the work of God. I can, be, I can, I can understand if he say I was a Baptist preacher. Yeah. <laughs> I'm preaching Roy Toy Bato, Pro Rizzo, Enzo Rizzo, Carl Artenso. I'm parsing, defining the word, going back to the original text, going to culture. I'm not doing nothing different from Christ. That's the whole point, Jeremiah. The miracle I'm preaching the gospel. The gospel is a miracle, like JD said. That's what y'all miss. I'm preaching the resurrection. What you say? The same power that Paul said over there in Galatians. The same power. Go back over there. And I ain't reading it. I'm sorry. Go back to Galatians. The same power. He had like he got a license on the what? On the power. You think you win? It's copyright. Yeah. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. You ain't got no copyright on the power. Let me introduce you to it, so you got to submit. Yeah, right. Great American. 
He introduced me to it and then he called himself taking it away too, didn't he? Yeah. Didn't he? Yeah. He's a white man. Oh. And he took it away, didn't he, JD? Yeah. You was here. You been here. You was here when it happened. Yes. Call himself. You know what type of effect it had on me? But God. What? But God. What? But God. <laughs> What was we at, J.D.? That was Galatians 12. Uh, verse 8, right? Yeah. He that wrote effectually in Peter to the apostleship and the circumcision, the same. The same was what? The same. Who is he that doing the work in Peter, y'all? Thank you very much. The Holy Spirit with the Word is doing the work in Peter. The Holy Spirit with the Word. But the Word is doing the work in Paul. The Holy Spirit... With the word is doing the work in Jim, the Holy Spirit in the Word, with the Word is doing the work in me. You don't got no copyright up on the power like Rose said. Who do you think you is? Who got no copyright up on He that wrote wrote effectually in Peter to the apostleship to the circumcision the same. You think you got a copyright on He that wrote? <laughs> You think you got a copyright on he that wrote? Do you know I am resolved and I'm determined to preach this gospel? You don't believe that? To what? To his shame. That's what this whole thing is about. This hit me. And I've never seen that till I've seen it now. The rebuke of sectarianism. And that's what he has called us. And he tell people, they don't follow grace and truth ministry, don't believe like I believe that, don't you, don't you talk to them. Get away from them. Go to the park and feed the fish. I'm not preaching no free will over here. I hate free will. I'm not preaching no crack and grape juice over here. I um, he don't make me go back. He don't make us think I'm stupid. I agree, but go wait till I read some of the stuff I read to you out of the books I got. See, I don't just, I stick as a foolish man. This man don't compel me, compel me. You all forget me. I just don't, I don't, I don't read just McClintock's and Strong. Because McClintock's and Strong's got his information from somebody too. So when I read McClintock's and Strong, I, when they say, McClintock's and Strong make a definite, make a statement. So and so, so and so, so and so, so and so. By so and so, so and so, so and so. I go by that book. That's, I don't, Thank you. What I've been like that all my life. What book were you were bringing? What? Which book were you talking about? That you didn't bring it. Uh, no, you ain't got it. Okay. It's a Bible handbook. Okay. McClintock's and Strong make a lot of statements that McClintock them got out of other books. So when they make the statement out of other book, I go by that book. I go by that book. You know what I've been trying to find? I'm trying to find the the written. I'm trying to find the written. I want to find, but I can't. I want to find the written context, the written context of PC study Bible. Oof. Where it got the grammar, the grammatical structure mm -hmm. over the word. Mm -hmm. I'm trying to find out do they got that in a book? Oof. I want the book. It's called Wheeler Syntax. I can't find it. Got to be. That's what I want. I want Wheeler's Syntax. I want that book. But when you get to that word, it's saying. I want the book with all this in there. <laughs> all the parts. Huh? That's what I want. It's called, and the name of it is Wheeler's. And I can't find it. Name of Wheeler's syntax. I can't find it in book form. I want it in book form. Let's in your PC study Bible. When you look it up, they say all of the way it says the subjunctive move is nominative. Oh man, that's I want the book. Like you said, most they got to be bothered. I don't know how you got that on the disc. Though. I want to know where you get the book from. I don't know how you made that, but that's what I want. But my point is this: he said he's a sectarian. He's trying, he trying to pull everybody to Jesus didn't do that. 
Mm. That's, don't you know that's what the Judaizers did to Paul? Mm -hmm. yeah. They said, don't listen to Paul. He didn't walk with Christ, did he? Yes. Mm -hmm. They said, Paul wasn't one of the original twelve. No. Let me tell you what Paul did. Paul was one of those. He was standing there with Stephen got stoned. Paul was standing there. He was watching their culture when they were stoning Stephen. Why do you think the people were so afraid of Paul? Everywhere they would go, they would say, oh, Paul was with him. He used to be a Pharisee. Did y'all listen to him? Y'all didn't know? Now, you don't believe me. Ask Peter, was he a Pharisee? <laughs> Peter had to tell him the truth then. Yep. Yes, he did. <laughs> <laughs> it wasn't Peter or Paul that fill it all at all. It was a Preach. Preach. <laughs> That's what I want y'all to see. <laughs> this is what I want y'all to see. So, Carolyn made a statement. Carolyn said that that is, you said what, Carolyn? That it's all about you. Right. Yes. Then you said it's what? Persecution. Then you said that's what, Jay? Persecution. Well, then, if those, listen, it's very simple. If those, if those that left and went to him, what was it, Carolyn? It was uh, all about you. Personal. So, so easy to see. Both of them have the same spirit. Same thing. Man, you can't accuse me of preaching no false doctrine. I can accuse him, though. Because until I see in the Bible, God put man in a that's going to be against everything that Genesis is. You can take, you can take, you can take from Genesis, you can take Genesis from chapter 1 to verse 31, snatch it out your Bible, go set it on fire. Then go over there and snatch out Psalm 69 and 4. Then snatch out the late Colossians 3.10. Everywhere where I say restore and renew, you can throw it in the Bible. What are you renewing? Restore! He said restore. That means it had to be there before. Yeah. It was new already. You made it new again. Thank you. Did he teach you how to break that word? No, he don't remember. No, I'm ignorant. Yes. I'm not like, see, I keep telling y'all, he thought I was more like this. Mm-hmm. 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 I believe in divine providence too. I ain't never been like that. I ain't never in my life been like that. You can't tell me anything. You can't tell any man or boy down there, man. He's selling weed, man. He got some fire weed, man. Go down and get your power. Hey, man, let me try it out. No, man, he told you, you ain't got that. No, I don't. Well, then, bye, bye. Goodbye. Goodbye. I go somewhere else. Uh -huh. Let me see. Let me see. I didn't buy nothing. I didn't. Put it on the table. Put it out. Don't go. Hey, man. I done buy it. Hey, bro. Right. Hey, man. Right. Hey, man. Right. Hey, man. Right. You just, you just say, hey, man. Check this out. This good. This is what I got. You sit there right there. What's it up? That's, woo, man, that's fine. That's good. He said, okay, I'll be back. I'm going to get yours out the room. No, the hell you ain't. No, you ain't. Yes, he did. 
contribute to that bastard no more. I don't care nothing about him. Go somewhere else. She ain't the only one, dude. I ain't never been like that no more. I always was investigating. I always been investigating. I investigate everything. You don't commit, you don't nothing in your life commit yourself to no one person. You're crazy. Wow. You never commit yourself to nobody. Don't you ever do commit yourself to one person. This is the person I do business with. And I ain't doing business with nobody. Else. You're stupid. You're dumb. Come on. I'm so loyal. What'd you say? I'm so loyal. Thank you very much. You're so loyal. If Ronnie ain't arrived, I need my furnace fit. Ronnie lose out. <laughs> Ronnie will tell you that too, man. You need it, Ronnie can't do it, can't get daughters in emergency. He just lose out. You just gotta pay. That's divine providence. Unless you're willing to suffer for three or four days. <laughs> you can hold out. If you can't hold out, you gotta do what you gotta do. But that's for real. But my whole point is he forbidding people to follow us and to come up and listen to me like I'm preaching a false God. Like he got a copyright or a hold, like we're all saying, a copyright on the Holy Spirit in the Word. He got the Holy Spirit in the Word ain't over there. That, that's what he's telling them. Ain't no Holy Spirit in the Word over there. That's what he's telling them. He said, don't go over there. Ain't no Holy Spirit in the Word over here. The Holy Spirit in the Word is one place. He is in New Tennessee. And there's only the one person. His name is Jim Brown. And when I die, I keep playing my tapes and DVDs. Because the Holy Spirit is in my DVDs and my tapes and nowhere else in the United States of America. My next sermon is Jim Brown, don't acknowledge no black preachers. That's what I'm finna preach. Don't acknowledge no black preachers. Talk about man, you ain't the only one. You ain't the only one. That really burned me up. And I, I beg our Lord keep showing me. He, he showed me that when he hit me with this, this is what really did it. That, Jenny, you understand? That's not the history of Scripture. That's my point. That's my point. That's not even God's way. Even not that is not even God's way. That ain't even God's way. You read your Bible. They don't read their Bible. They looking at Jim Brown. Man, he, he don't compel me. Man, I'm gonna pull down my book. I heard him say, I got books. Oh man. I got books everywhere to say the stuff he say. I just read, I just sit down the other day and I just read it over there. And I pull my book out and I just start reading. And I'm gonna show. You. And it was doing, I did it Thursday night. And it's about scripture interpretation. I'm gonna read it to you Thursday. Read it to you Thursday night. If you watch and see. By the grace of God, we be here. You're going to say, that's everything preacher told me. Been teaching on. Everything got to be. The scripture teaches itself. The Holy Spirit speaks for itself. The scriptures is the Holy Spirit. All scripture was given by inspiration of God. And that's exactly what it said. When I read you this in this book, and I've been telling y'all, y'all supposed to be like me, and it's all that was in the book. I didn't bring this morning because I didn't want to get thrown off and I'm thrown off. I got to read this. Got to get this done. <laughs> the Lord's will will be in person. I'm going to read it to you. But this right here I want you to see. You don't tell nobody not to follow nobody. They preach a predestination and the sovereignty of God. If the man preaching water baptism, I would tell him, your water baptism is wrong. If he preach a predestination and the sovereignty of God, the only thing I would tell him, you don't need that cracker and grape juice and you don't need that water baptism. That's why I would tell him. And then I would show him in the Bible. If you want to hold on to it, that's fine. But I'll tell anybody, yeah, he preached predestination to sovereignty of God. But that water baptism and that cracker and juice and the traditions he got is wrong. You don't tell nobody not to go to John McCoffin. You say he liked John McCoffin. My John McCoffin keep Christmas and everything. You understand what I'm saying? Y'all say he ain't this. John, he's a, a predestinationist preacher. Why? Why? <laughs> He'll tell you about John, John McCarthy wrote his books and everything. He'll tell you about some of the white preachers. He'll mm -hmm. tell you about Ray Mason, Charles Octavius Booth, and Dennis Rogers. Mm -hmm. He'll tell you about them. When I get through with him, I don't know who I told Charles or somebody, he wouldn't know that there's a prophet in Israel. <laughs> 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 
more or less getting this. I'm convinced. This is what I'm talking about being resolved. This is resolved. This is a good lesson for you, brother. You've got to be resolved. You've got to be resolved. The judgment must be convinced of the goodness of the cause we have in hand. Or else if it be a human, it would never hold in what? I'm in trouble now. So you got, you got, you got to be convinced. I'm convinced. Well, the sound arguments and sound scriptures are what? And that's what I do here. Then the heart should be fully what? That's what should be happening to them. Now, this is 1586 to 1647. Remember, y'all do not ever lose this. He is not preaching to no black folk. Keep that in mind. He died in 1647. What was we at? Slavery. In slavery. Right? Correct. We enslaved. No freedom. Can't even read the Bible, can't you? No. They're not, and this book was written. Do y'all understand what I am saying? Yes. This is written to white Anglo-Saxon America. Do y'all hear what I'm saying? Yes. He was born in 1586. He died in 1647. Are y'all with me? Yes. Understand. This is not written to white folk. Are y'all with me? That's why you don't know the word flyback. You ain't never heard that before. What the heck is a flyback? That's what they used in that time. You understand what I'm saying? You got to keep that in mind when you read. When sound arguments, sound scriptures are alleged, then the heart should be fully what? This is what? So when you see that in scripture, can't nobody turn you from scripture. That's what it's saying. Nobody should be able to turn you from scripture. I'll show you a scripture, you should be fully swayed by that scripture. That's if you've been poured into a mouthful, you are full rizzo after rizzo on car chisel, right? Yeah. That's if the work of God is in you. You will be. You'll be fully resolved. Okay? They say then the heart should be fully swayed. This is one part of the resolution. When the mind is thus settled and the understanding thus poised. Let's go over to the book of uh, Colossians. Let's go to Colossians right quick. Let's go to Colossians, Colossians right quick. I gotta get through this. All these scriptures come to my mind when I'm teaching. Go to Colossians. Go to Colossians. Go to Colossians. Chapter, chapter one. Colossians chapter one. Are you there? Are you there? And having made peace through the blood of his cross. Peace where it? Peace between the church and God, between man and God, because there is no peace in the world. And the word peace is the word what? Arene. E-I-R-E-N-E. E-I-R-E-N-E. That's the word Arene. E-I-R-E-N-E. And Arene means what? Set. Look what, look what Arene means. Set. And. One. But it, it had to be a time when they was one. If they, if we said it one again, that's peace. Peace between who, man and God. But there's no peace in the world. Remember what Jesus said. I come out to bring peace. He said He is peace. So we got peace with God through the blood. Hello. <laughs> By Him to reconcile all things unto Himself. By him I say whether they be things in earth, things in heaven. And you, he's talking to white Anglo-Saxon. They weren't Anglo-Saxon at this time, but they were. He's talking to Gentiles. He's talking to the white man. Hello? That's right. You that were sometimes alienated and enemies were at. That wicked what? Works. Those wicked works were the works I showed you last night in those pictures. That's how these people live. They was in Colossus. They was in Colossus. Where is this at? Let me get that. Look at Colossus, y'all. Let me show y'all, man. Look at the beginning of Colossus. Look at the beginning of the book. Look at the first chapter. First chapter. The beginning of the book. You in Colossus. It says the Apostle Paul. Colossus was sent by the same messenger. Who, who bore Ephesians and Philemon and was probably written at the same time. A papyrus who later in the word in the assembly at Colossus, Paul's fellow prisoner at Rome. That was from, from him. The Coloss Colossus was in Rome. That's what Colossus was, right? Colossus, Colossus, where you at Colossus? Colossus, Colossus. 
Help me, Lord. Help me, Lord. Where's Colossae? Where you at, Colossae? Got the beast in your derby. Right by Pisidia. Colossae, Colossae, Colossae. See Pisidia? Left. Here go Colossae right here. A major minor. There go Colossae right there. There go Colossus right there. Right down by Laodicea. You see it right here? That's Colossus right there. Right by the church of Laodicea. Right here in Asia Minor area. Right here. Ephesus, Smyrna, Sardis, Philadelphia, Laodicea. There go Colossus. There go Thyatira. There go Pergamon. All of them was right in this ever right here. Those are white Gentiles right there. Rome was ruling at that time. That's in Asia Minor. Today is called Turkey. Hello, Charles? Yes. This is Asia Minor area. Today is called Turkey. Right in this area right here. Macedonia and Thrace up here, that's where you got Greece at. They go Rome over here. This is Greece right up in here. Hello, Charles? Yes. Corinth was in Greece. They go Athens. Athens is in Greece. Corinth, Thessalonica, all this. You see this in the book of Acts. This right here is your Asia Mighty, your Turkey area right there. Hello? Yes. Those was Gentiles. Hello? Amen. Now go back to verse 20. Are you there? That's why, that's why it's written like this. He said, having made peace through the blood of his cross, to, by him to reconcile all things to himself. By him I say, brother, they be things in earth and things in heaven. Paul just said in Galatians, he was sent to the earth's uncircumcision. The uncircumcision was the Gentiles' one. Yes. Go home, look in your book. Go home, look in your book. You go home, look in your book, and eros in a tick, in tick. And you look at your eros in antiquity, when you look at those white statues, none of them is circumcised. Dude. Now go look at your eros in antiquity. You look at the white statues. What a penis is. Ain't none of them circumcised. That's what he was telling them when he went into Galatians. Look at them. He'll tell them. You don't, you don't need to be circumcised. And all their pictures that they made, those white Anglo Saxons, those Colossians, those Grecians, nobody, all their pictures, when you look, they can be spinning up and penising out, and it is not circumcised. They did not circumcised. Paul was talking about the degrees. He said, when Paul, listen, let me show y'all something. Look at, look at, look at. Go to Galatians. Go to Galatians. Go to Galatians. Let me show you something. Go to Galatians. Go to Galatians. Go to Galatians. Over there. 
You go home and look at your heroes and they take, you're going to see all of them are uncircumcised. The Jews were telling them they had to be circumcised. Paul said, if you be circumcised, Christ should profit you nothing. They said, they told you you had to keep the law, you had to be circumcised. That's what they told me. For I testify again to every man that is circumcised. He is adapted to do the whole law. Christ has become of note, effective to you, whosoever of you, whosoever of you are justified by the law through what? Circumcision. 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 You are fallen from grace. If you be what? Circumcised. Circumcised. Circumcised according to the law. Hello? Amen. Don't lose me. If we through the Spirit wait for the hope of righteousness by faith. For Jesus Christ neither circumcision availed anything, nor uncircumcision, but faith which worketh by what? Uh -huh. You did run well. Who did hinder you that you should not obey the truth? This persuasion cometh not of him that calleth you a little leaving, leaving it the whole lump. I have confidence in you through the Lord that you will be none otherwise minded. You be resolved. But he that troubleth you shall bear his judgment whosoever he be. And I, brother, if I preach circumcision, why do I suffer persecution? Then is the offense of the cross cease. I would they were even cut off. I wish they didn't even have a face. I wish that Peter was cut off the trouble. I wish they were cut off. Wow. <laughs> you don't have to worry about nobody being circumcised. And look what Paul said. Paul didn't play. Paul was what? He was resolved. Come on, let's read. Oh, let's go back to Colossians. Paul was resolved. You gotta be resolved, man. You gotta be resolved to do this. And you're not resolved, you're not settled, you're scared. Colossians 2, verse number 20, 20, 22. 21. And you that were sometimes alienated and enemies in your mind by wicked works, now hath he reconciled in the body of his flesh through death to present you holy, unblameable, unreprovable in his sight. If you continue in the faith, grounded, be like what? You gotta be resolved, man. You gotta be grounded in self. He not moved away from the hope of the gospel or the miracle which you have heard, which was preached. Amen. Where we preach up, which is under heaven, well, I Dennis Rogers. Amen. You gonna tell him don't go over there with me? That's the same thing that Judaizers do. He don't see what type of spirit. He Come on, y'all, let's finish this. <laughs> you say, but when sound arguments, sound scriptures are what? Alleged. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Let's go, let's go. When we be moved on, you're going to be lost. Let's go. When I say let's go, put that pencil down and let's move. Get that, when you get the DVD and sit home and go over again like you quote supposed to do. That's another thing you don't do. That's why you don't know. But when sound argument, sound script is our edge, then the heart should be fully what? This is how many parts of resolution is this, Carolyn? Just only one part. When the mind is thus settled and the understanding thus poised, there is a great part of what? First Corinthians 2 2. I determined or I resolved to know nothing among you but Jesus Christ and Him crucified. He determined. What do the resolve mean, Carolyn? To determine. That is, He judged. What do, what do resolve mean? Ah. What do, what do resolve mean? Eric? To judge. Resolve means to determine. Resolve means to judge. You're not paying attention now. I determined to know nothing among you but Jesus Christ and Him crucified. Paul determined. That is, Paul judged. Judge, determined, resolve is the same thing, Doc. Huh? He had an argument. <laughs> He had an argument for with Mo Moses judge. Moses what? Determined. Moses determined. Moses did what? Resolve. You need to write in your book at the top. Resolve. Resolve. Judge. Determined. Same thing. Because y'all don't know how to mentally put it together again. You're not mentally ready 
You're not comprehending, determined, judge, resolve. It's the same thing, J.D. Amen. Moses judged affliction. Moses determined that affliction was better than all the treasures of Egypt. Do you determine that affliction from the world is better than the riches and the treasures of the world? Have you resolved that in your mind? That it's better to be afflicted by America? Just like we said yesterday, they, they went this gender thing, and I forgot I had that magazine. And we told Ah, Ah gonna get work, that dog gonna faggot, gonna run up and grab his crotch, and Ah gonna knock him out. That's a hate crime. And they gonna charge off for the hate crime. He gonna run and grab our crowd. I gonna knock him out, and they gonna charge up with a hate crime. Cause I did that have this way. That's what we said yesterday. Did with Jeremiah. We was wrong. Eric, what you say about Ethan? He said Ethan don't hit him. Go to the prison. Then when he go to principal, what the principal gonna do? <laughs> so he just can't win. He just can't win. But when a little boy do it and he go up on the little boy, they're gonna send him to the and he's not gonna touch him, they're gonna send him to the principal. Then the principal's gonna get him. We in trouble, ain't we? You don't let him freak on you, you're gonna charge him with a hate crime. That's how he is. He was just, he, he, he was just making a beat that night. He already did. I know he did. He didn't make up no more. He said he gone. Good. <laughs> <laughs> they don't play, man. Okay, y'all. Okay. Hey, they know. I keep telling them, I don't get them for everything. The things I try to sit and talk to them about, because if you touch me, I'm going to knock them out. <laughs> You're putting your hands on me. I'm not American. I'm Israelite. Don't touch me. Ain't no hate crime. Moses judged better affliction. That's what we got to judge. Moses judged affliction better than all the treasures of what? Jesus. His understanding was fully set. What do resolve mean? But no, it don't. What do resolve mean? No, it don't. His understanding was fully set. Thank you very much. Resolve is having your understanding fully set. Resolve is understanding fully set. Set down, convinced of it. Therefore, get good arguments, which may bear the heart, and you will be what? Thank you very much. When the understanding is informed, then also the will must work to make up a sound what? The will must say what? I will have it. It ratifies that which reason said, and now resolution comes according to the nature of good, and so chosen by the will, the best thing is most re resolved upon, I'm grabbing out by the crouch. <laughs> Hello? <laughs> yes, it does. You have that money. Don't get you to nobody. Get you right in that face. Get you right in that face. Get you right in that face. Get you Yeah, that's where you be at in the bank. They don't come in. This works both ways. With the understanding, it works both ways, doesn't it? Yes. With the understanding is informed, then also the will must work to make up sound what? The will must say what? I will have it. I will have it. I will have it. It ratifies that which reason what? It confirms that which reason say. Now resolution comes according to the nature of what? The nature of benefit. How is it going to benefit me? What did they just do, Jay? They, thank you. Come on, your word. The word you use? Come on, come on, come on. Consider, 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 consider. So chosen by the will, the best thing is most what? Now Christ is the what? But you can't resolve unless you have what? No, you can't resolve unless you have what? 
You cannot judge and resolve and turn, determine unless you have what or who? The Holy Spirit. Man, y'all slow. See, you still think you can do it yourself. By you answering, that lets me know you don't know and you think you can do it yourself. By you answering and not answering, that lets me know that you don't know uh, and you don't understand and you still believe you the one to do it. You can't resolve upon Christ without the Holy Spirit. You can't. Amen. You got to have the Holy Spirit and the Word. You must have the Holy Spirit and the Word. It's the cause. It's the work of God. In order, resolving is a process, Regina, so you can make progress. Resolving, judging, determining is a process so you can make progress. And you can't do it without the Holy Spirit and the Word of God. That's the whole point of making it. You can't do it. If you don't have the Holy Spirit and the Word of God, you ain't going to make no progress. You can't do the process of resolving and you ain't going to make no progress. You can't do it on your own. You can't do it by yourself. You can't. You can't make a decision by yourself. You don't make decisions by yourself. The decisions are made by divine providence. I read, y'all, y'all forget too fast. We just read Jeremiah 10, 23. It's not you. You don't resolve and determine nothing. When you resolve and determine something that's God gonna left you to your nature. He just gonna left you to yourself. And, I, and every judgment, every resolving, everything you're gonna do is gonna be evil. Because it's only you by yourself. You not good. Your human reason is evil. You got to have the Holy Spirit and the Word with human reason in order to go through the process and make progress. You can't do it by yourself. And your answer lets me know you don't understand that you must have the Holy Spirit and the Word in order to make a right decision, a right determination, a right judgment. That lets me know you still don't understand that. You don't do nothing. That's why I told you it goes two ways. I'm going to read it to you again and show you again. It goes two ways. It don't go one way. When the understanding is informed, you got your information from the United States of America. At that time also, the will must work up a sound resolution. Based on the information you got from America, you decided I'm going to move in the white folks' neighborhood. You decided I'm going to send my child to college. You decided I'm going to go get this job. When you get the information, it was formed. You got it from somewhere. You didn't form it by yourself. It came from the outside. And the Holy Spirit comes from the outside, Regina, into the heart. It plants the word. Now I got help in making my decision, Jeremiah. Do you understand, Jeremiah? No. When the understanding is informed, the will must work. The will must work. The will must work to make up a sound resolution. And our will don't work with the will of God unless God make us willing. And as J.D. said, you guys keep forgetting what I told you to pray. Fill me with the knowledge of your will in all spiritual wisdom and revelation. You got to have the knowledge of the will of God in order for you to make a good resolution, a good decision, a good determination, a good judgment. That's Colossians 1.9 that I talked to you a week ago. I keep telling you, you better keep praying. That word knowledge is epignosis. Fill me with the knowledge of your will in all wisdom and spiritual revelation. Be filled with the knowledge of his will. You're already doing your own. <laughs> when the understanding is informed, and also the will must work to make up a sound resolution. The will must say amen. I will have it. It ratifies that which reason said. What help reason? The Holy Spirit and the Word. Reason ain't by itself. I told you it goes two ways. That's reason by itself in the Word. Then he goes on to say, now Christ is the best. So you got to have the Holy Spirit before you can even know Christ. That's, that's just scripturally obvious. But many of you don't understand the scripture. Y'all don't be understanding anything. 
because you're not filled with the knowledge of his will. You're too busy having eternal discussions with yourself. You, you in fornication. He's not going to give you nothing as long as you're in fornication or dollars you're in pornography. You can forget it. That's why you don't understand. In case you don't know why I don't understand. Why is it I don't understand and I don't remember know these things? Because you're in fornication or dollars and pornography. That's why. It's simple. That's why. Preach. What is the other God before? Thank you very much. It's so simple. I started having an internal discussion instead of going to the Word. Because I think I know. It's so simple. This is so simple. This is so simple. It's so simple. To the true belief, to the true worship. And you, that I self, and fornication, idolatry, and pornography. And because see, you got a one way mind. You just think it's only physical. Ronnie called me last night. Ronnie said, Damn, preacher. Ronnie responded right away. As soon as I, before I can click and close the program. Hey man, I preach, I can call you right away. I said, Ronnie, many ain't gonna even respond at all. I said, Ronnie, I knew, I know Ronnie, I know Ronnie. If Ronnie hear that word and that word convict him, Ronnie gonna act right away. Some of you in here, you hear that word and convict you, you go on about your doggone bit. You gonna die and go to hell. Because you lost the opportunity. And you think that afterward that I stand up here and preach and then you convicted. You think because you come after I preach and tell me, well, I'm sorry, I apologize, that that's it. No, you do that all the time. You don't see that? That you keep doing that all the time. That every time you convicted, you come to me and say, preach, I'm sorry. I, you write it. I shake your hand. And, I burn, I burn, and then you go about your business. Then I preach again. And you come back again and say, you write I'm sorry, your brother Bob, Bob. Did you go back again? You've been doing that for how many years? How many years have you been doing that? How many years have you been doing that? That don't tell you nothing. That don't tell you nothing. You think it's all right and it's resolved and it's over because you keep, because you come after the, after the message to say, you're right. Man, that word was good. I apologize. I'm sorry. Then I preach again. You, you, you think that makes it right? Yeah, you do. Because you don't have internal discussion with yourself. And say, he said this, and the word said this. So all I got to do is tell him sorry. Once I tell him sorry and apologize, tell him the message is good, I'm all right. I can go back and do what I was doing until I'm convicted again. You hypocrite. Hello? You don't know what to pretend. That message in some of y'all last night was, Phone calls was going everywhere, wasn't it? Everybody was, some of y'all was convicted. Some didn't move at all. Nothing moves you. Nothing moves you. You don't think that none of it applies to you? You think you're straight. You think you actually really think you're straight. When the understanding is informed, then also the will must work to make up a sound resolution. This is what happened last night to you, Ronnie. The wills must say amen. That's what happened to you last night, Ronnie. I will have it and ratify that which reason said, and now a resolution comes according to the nature of the good. Ding, ding, hey, preach, preach, amen. Look, preach, I'm sorry, I'm not going to make good. Damn it, I'm confident with the scriptures we went through and everything. Some of you don't want you at all. Now resolution comes, this is what happened last night, Ronnie. According to the nature of good and so chosen by the will, the best thing is most resolved of all. Christ is the best thing, you knew that, Ronnie. Therefore, to be most resolved of all. Is it best to suffer for God? That's what you did, Ronnie, said the understanding. Is it not? Yes, said the heart. It is better to have Christ in the prison or at the stake than to be without him, say, uh, to be without him, say, heart. Is it so hard? Then says the will, I will have Christ. Come what will, come to the contrary. The understanding says the ways of God and peace are pleasant. Preacher, I'm sorry. That's all right, son. I understand why I'm glad we're going to do that. That's, it. That's exactly what happened to you. Exactly, son. This won't happen to everybody. That's why I told you to do it. Some of you, it don't move you at all. Now, the men will get up and come preach, I'm sorry, we're going to go to other good lips. Yeah, you said it right. The next week, Ronnie, they'll do the same thing. The next month, Ronnie, they'll do the same thing. The next week, Lolita, they'll do the same thing. The next month, Virginia, they'll do the same thing. And it's just a doggone routine. It's just a cycle. It's just playing. 
You play hide and seek with yourself. That's all you do. You don't see that. I don't know why you don't see it. Then I do know why you don't see it. He ain't showing it. He understands. He says the ways of God are peace and what? Amen. I will therefore have what? The ways of God are not my internal discussion. I would rather have the ways of God. I would rather bear the shame and the reproach. I would rather go without the camp. Bearing that shame and that reproach. So what? You don't want to go outside the camp. You want to stay inside the camp. You want to stay in Jerusalem. I would therefore have them when the understanding says this. The will also says the same. This makes up a what? In Ruth 1, 11 and 13, they only reasons with Ruth to persuade her to return. Now she went for God and for religion. Therefore, all things to the contrary then propounded. Verse 18, she was steadfastly minded. What is that? Resolve. You got to see it going through here. You got to be able to mentally put these things together. Ruth was resolved. Your God going to be my God. When you die, I'm going to die. She was resolved, man. Steadfastly minded. There you go, Rose. There you go. That's what I'm talking about. When a person is steadfastly minded and, and, and I'm judged to write it and determined, your God is my God. Where you go, I'm going to go. Where you die, I'm going to die. It's love, Ronnie. Right? Uh, Naomi, read, read, and I told Rose to read this uh, about three weeks ago. Go on to read Ruth. God don't show you. Naomi reasons with Ruth to persuade her to return. Go back, Ruth. Don't come with me, Ruth. I ain't got nothing. Ruth said, no, you don't tell me what to do. My heart is steadfast. I'm going with you to your country where you die. Hey, man, let's look at it. I love this man. Look at Ruth. Yeah. I got to put the judges. Look at Ruth. Look at Ruth. Ruth. This is resolved. Ruth. Verse number 10. Verse number 10. Verse 8. Verse 8. Verse 12. Verse 11. Let's start at verse 11. Naomi said, Turn again, my daughters. Why will you go with me? Why you want to be with me? Why you want to be with me? Are there yet any more sons in my womb that they may be your husbands? Turn again, my daughters. Go your way, for I am too old to have a husband. If I should say I have hope, if I should have a husband also tonight and should also bear sons, would you tarry for them till they were grown? Would you stay for them from having husbands? Nay, my daughters, for it grieveth me much for your sakes that the hand of the Lord has gone out against me. They lifted up their voice and wept again. Orpah kissed her mother-in-law, but Ruth claimed unto her. She said, Behold, your sister-in-law is gone back unto her people and unto her gods, returning you after your sister-in-law. Ruth said, Entreat me not to leave you, or to return from following after you. Whether you go as I will go. Whether you lodge us, I will lodge. Your people shall be my people. Your God, my God. Where you die, will I die. There will I be buried. The Lord do so to me and more also. If all but death part you and me. That's love. That's love right there. That's great a man to have no. What? Great a man to have no love to this. Great a man to what? I'm talking about love. You don't want to do that with Christ. You don't want to be with Christ. You don't, you don't love me like that, and you know you don't. You don't love me like that. You don't love me like that. You know you don't love me like that. I believe Eric loves me like that. I believe Charles loves me like that. I believe Martin Jeremiah loves me like that. Yes, I do. But it was a time when, when I was so much in rebelliousness that when you would say you love me, I couldn't say it back. I, 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 I,
And many of them say they love them, but they don't understand what they say. They just say it because the Bible said it. I know you're saying it from your heart. I know you will it. I know Pop will it. I know Charles will it. Jeremiah's a monster. I'm going to tell y'all, y'all better stop playing. Can't get nothing over. Y'all can get it right now. Can't hear it. No. <laughs> Something hit me yesterday. I'll be paying attention to him and Eric working together. And I thank God yesterday. I said, Lord, I thank you in the name of Jesus. Because I remember I said, Eric, oh, I said, Eric, and I remember, and I thank God for it, Virginia. I said, Eric and Jeremiah do not have no business sitting at no computer together playing no video games. Look what God done did now between y'all people. It's not about playing no more. You are mature, because you're hanging out with somebody mature. You learn it because you're not hanging out with nobody that's your age. You're going to be much more mature than young men your age, son. It already you know, is. I'm 61. How are you, Eric? Well, how are you, Ock? You see who you hanging with, boy? You see what type of knowledge? Do you really see what God is doing for you in your life? You're going to be a dangerous individual, son. He will. You see what God is? How old are you, man? 35. Do you see who, who you hanging around? How old are you? 35. How old are you? 19. The, the, the closest one to you is how old? 27. He's he, he 18 years older than you. Do you see who you learning from? Do you see what type of knowledge you acquire? Do you really understand what is going on with you? Son, you got knowledge beyond your years. Well, eight years old. You got knowledge beyond your years. You ain't around a 61 year old. You got knowledge beyond your years. Keep telling, I've been telling y'all. I keep telling y'all. That dude right there. When he gets to be about 30, 35. Ooh! <laughs> I feel for individuals. I feel for individuals. But what God doing with it? Why he doing it to him? God raised that young man. That man is way why he be saying things that act. Am I lying out? No. Am I lying there? We be like blowed away when Jeremiah say things. Jeremiah be talking sometimes like he got a man like a 30 year old. I'm not lying. One thing I love about him when we sit there. And I love this about him. He don't run his mouth. He listens. He don't be trying to shine and make himself out like he knows. He listens. And then when I ask, I ask the question about Genesis 3. I said, Jeremiah, did you hear? He listens to everything. He don't miss nothing. Do error. He don't miss nothing. You can say something. I can be saying, like, Eric, I want you to do so and so and so. You look around, Jeremiah, almost finished. We talk about anything. Jeremiah's already... Rolling over in this mind, weigh and deliberate what the answer is. Put the script together. Am I right? Am I right out? Yeah. Boy, it's dangerous. And it's by the grace of God. You know what God's doing for doing, doing with him and why? But I'm telling you something. Anybody tell him nothing? For real. He's not Eric. He used to be arrogant when he was young. <laughs> he ain't no store no more. Jeremiah get to talk to boy, everybody shut up and listen. Yep. <laughs> I listen to him. Yep. He's not talking like a fool. He's not stupid. <laughs> Nobody is talking stupid all the time, laughing and joking all the dog all the time. What's hey, wrong with you? Just make no joke. <laughs> He's steadfastly minded to go. She was steadfastly minded to go. God in misery. We don't want. We want the God, but we don't want the misery. God and misery was the best. We don't want. We don't want the misery. We want the God. We want the God, but not the misery. God, I got to. I got to have that. What you was talking about, too, Jeremiah. I thought about that yesterday. When you said they got a pill to make you a virgin or something. Oh, that was a part of the movie. Oh, part of the movie. And then the pill was supposed to make him a virgin. Yeah, it was called the urge. Come on! It was called the what? It's called the urge. It was supposed to make you the first version of yourself. It was only supposed to take a month for life. Oh man, I see that's what I'm talking about. I see that you gotta have it. That's dumb, man. In America, stupid. Yeah. In America, stupid. Yes. It's called the urge. 
wonder what you was talking about. Yeah, I didn't talk that much. You can take a pill and you become a virgin all over again. And that's dumb. They call it the urge. That's right. Very stupid act. I still do. You have what you reading? Yeah, And you was looking at the plot? Yeah. And you, it was it was written like you just read? You yeah. said, I want the plot. Okay. So I can show my dumb American. I want that. Okay. And you know I'm putting it out for you. Okay. Have it for me next week so when you break it so I can use it next week. Okay. <clears throat> okay. Ain't America dumb? Yes. The urge. <laughs> I already got the word. <laughs> <laughs> America stupid. Yes. Take it one. <laughs> I gotta have that thing for real. I don't need to see the movie. I just need to pop. <laughs> she was steadfastly minded to go. Go, God and misery. It was the best. We want the God, Lolita, but that's what you don't want. You don't want the misery, Lolita. You take the God. Well, God, you keep the misery. Therefore, she resolved. She what? She was what? Steadfastly Thank you very much. She was steadfastly minded to go. She resolved here. There is what? Now, it is right. And the failing, and the failing in any of these two breaks. And the failing in any of these two breaks. Breaks the resolution. If a man say, I know and do not, will it? What is that, Carolyn? He best believe. If a man say, I will, and have no reason for it, it is what? Thank you. Not a what? And this is how many of you wills in here. You say, I know, but you don't will it. You say, I know, but you don't will it. You don't resolve upon it. You're not determined to do it. But you say, I know what you said is right, but you don't will to do it. You say, I know that's right. You got me again. Yeah, it is. Yeah. Boy, you know you preach that. I don't need you to pump me up and pat me on my back. I don't need that. Stop doing me like that. That pisses me off. That disturbs me. That vexes me, J.D. Yeah. I don't need that. I know what you said is right. Man, I know I need to do it now. And this is how we meet, this is how we are. I know and do not will it. That's foolishness. If a man say, I will, and I have no reason for it, thank you, JD. It's not sound resolution. So an understanding is what? The will is not what? It is only? You just said it what, JD? Yeah, the consideration You just said what, Chris? You just had a constant, you just had what there? Internal discussion. That's all you did. They both internal discussion. So you can put internal discussion. That's me. They go internal discussion right there. So you can show me, see baby, you see the definition and the statements they're making in the book. Internal discussion is, I know and do not will it. Internal discussion is, I will and have no reason for it. That's internal discussion. Internal discussion is, I know and do not will it. Internal discussion is, I will and have no reason for it. And that's internal discussion. Because you say, I know, right? That's internal discussion. I know. Who, you, who told you you know? <laughs> what you doing, huh? You playing hide and seek, man. You still slow. Slow as fast. <laughs> Playing hide and seek. I know, and you do not will it. I know, I will, and you have no reason for it. That's not a sound resolution. So when understanding is informed, the will is not settled on the information. It is only consultation. But the will says, I will not have it thus. A man may be good in what? But not in what? When the drunkard is convinced it is an evil to be drunk, and the usurer who charges interest, but yet will be so still, and with the adder turn the deaf ear, 
and will continue in it still. The adulterer is convinced of his sin. He goes into the adulteress. He shall know what? Give the understanding is what? When the will comes out, and so he will have his what? So when the persecutor is convinced that persecuting God's saints is a sin, and hates it. This is to the understanding. Yet the will will be malicious what? The heaviest part is the what? As in a government consultation, they must they must propound all to the what? He must confirm it, right? Now when the will says, I will not confirm that, I will not leave that sin, nor take up that duty. Now all this, all this while it is not confirmed or ratified to the will come on. Away with this peace and tax what? Resolutions. And purposes. As to say it were good, it was so. I would all would do so. I could afford to be so. But all the world would persecute me. This is half what? <laughs> Away with this patched resolution. To have reservations at every turn, it is nothing else but what? <laughs> say therefore, is not the sanctification of the Sabbath day better than the profanation of it? Say heart is not preciseness in a Christian course better than with the harlot to wipe the mouth and say all is well and all truth, though the least that God reveals. Is it not better than all the world? Yes, it is. If it be, will do thou close with it? Say within yourselves, hear our reasons clear. That heaven and earth meet together, the wall, the dust of the earth, the sands on the shore, the skies of grass in the field, where devils, I will have that which the word reveals. That's resolution. Though I die for it. And that's what you don't want to do. You don't want to die for what the word reveals. You don't want to die for what the word says. So you ain't resolute. You ain't determined because you don't want to die for what the word says. You got to die for what this word says. You got to separate from yourself. Death is separation. You got to get out of that internal discussion. You don't want to separate from yourself. You don't want to separate from your internal discussion. This is a happy heart. That's a blessed heart. When the soul sees, hello? Regina say, I see. <laughs> the greatest good is holiness. The soul don't see it. And resolves to have holiness. This is sound what? Because the root and spring of all our actions come from a what? And a man, as a man's purpose is, so a man's practice is. Resolution is the main position or poise of a man's actions. The hand of the dial goes as the wheels of the clock turn the hand on the dials within, whether right or wrong. So the hand works, the tongue speaks, because the will and the heart by resolution, because the will and heart work by what? I will have this, says the soul, that is the will, the chief faculty of the soul in resolving and then the heart goes, now and then, if action be carried by resolution, then resolution must be what? First. In Romans 6, 17, the text says, they obeyed, we just studied this, didn't they? They obeyed from the what? Heart. What did they obey from the heart, Eric? Remember? Yes, they remember? What did they obey from the heart, Jane? Eric? What? That form of doctrine. Preach on, there you go. They obeyed from the heart, that form of doctrine which was delivered unto us. With the heart, Resolved, it was what? Done. What was done? Wrong! They ain't got no form of doctrine there. What was done? Thank you very much. Obedience was done. They obeyed from the heart the form of doctrine that was delivered unto us. When the heart resolved, it was done. What was done? When the heart resolved and judged and determined about the form of doctrine, before they carried out any practice, they had already what? They had already obeyed. Let's get it again. You missed it. They obeyed from the heart. Before they did anything outwardly, they had already obeyed in the heart when they determined and resolved to do it. The obedience was already done before action was carried out. I'm going to pick up the car. I already don't obey. I already don't dissolve. Only thing to stop me from picking up that cup, I die. But I already resolved, I'm picking up that cup. So the obedience is already carried out. All I gotta do is put forth action. It's already done, because I'm resolved to pick up the cup. 
I'm resolved to put it down. It's already done. I'm going to put it down. Already going to determine, resolve, my mind is steadfast. Nobody's going to stop me and move me from putting the cup down. You ain't, a, you ain't obeying in your heart. You ain't determined in your mind. That's why you ain't doing it. You can't do it unless the Holy Spirit and the Word is there is the one that calls you to do it. You're not determined in your mind. The Holy Spirit and the Word has not convinced you that this, this is the right way. You're still convinced that your way is the right way. Your internal discussion is the way. Do y'all understand now? Because the root, the spring of all our actions comes from the revolution. As a man's purpose is, so a man's practice is. Hello? What comes first? Practice and purpose. You have to your purpose come before the practice. Hello? Do you understand now? The purpose comes before the practice. Hello? I don't care what nobody say. If I purpose in my heart, you ain't gonna stop me from doing it. Hello? Like you purpose in your heart to sin, you gonna see it? Yeah, you will. You purpose in your heart not to come, you ain't gonna come, right? You purpose in your heart not to read John and I tell you to read it, you ain't gonna read it. Ha ha! That's why you don't read it, because you purposed in your heart not to. You got to have a purpose before the practice. You purpose in your heart and you determine to resolve to obey that word of God. Nobody can stop you. Nobody. I don't care who it is. Nobody can turn it. I don't care what it is. I don't care who it is. I don't care where it is. I don't care what it is. I don't care why it is. I don't care which, why, when, where, who, what. I don't care. You resolve, that's it. I'm not doing it. You ever resolve something to say you weren't going to do it and you did? Right. You didn't do it either. You don't care who cried, you don't care who got mad. You didn't do it, did you? You didn't give a damn, did you? All right, then don't give a damn then about the world, then. You don't give a damn about yourself. Hello? Hello? Thank you. You got to have purpose, Virginia, before you have root. I mean, practice. You got to have purpose before practice. Resolution is the main poison of a man's action. The hand of the dial goes as the wheel of the clock turns. But then, whether right or wrong, so the hand works. The tongue speaks because the will and the heart work by what? I will have this, says the soul. That is the will, the chief faculty of the soul that dissolve. And then the heart goes. Now then, if action be carried by resolution, resolution must be what? First. In Romans 6, 17, the text says, they obeyed from the heart. When the heart resolved, it was what? Yeah. Thank you very much. That's it. It was done already. It was already done. Ain't carried out no action yet. But it's already done, Jay. Because the heart resolved. The mind resolved. I'm doing it. I purpose it. I'm, this is what I'm going to do. I don't care what nobody say. Not even me. Me is the problem. Hello? Hence, God softened requires. But if that goes forward, as in a what? The castle commands all the what? The resolution commands the whole what? Tongue, hand, and all. There you go right there. You got to be resolute. You got to be de determined, though. You got to be steadfast. I'm determined. I'm going to study this word. I'm going to read this word. Then the text going to come. I'm going to do this. Somebody move me and say, hey, come on over here. Or you internal discussion. Come on, let's do this. Excuse me. I'm finna read. Excuse me. I'm studying. But then you can get to that later. You dumb. You do it too. You stupid. Because you're not resolute. Talk back with me. Am I lying? I'm not lying. Because you weak. Think you strong. If a man will sell on the sea, he must have a stern to guide the ship right. So of the selling of the soul in the world, if you will sell the right and come to the right haven, resolution must be the what? And that must what? So that the argument stand thus. If resolution be the root of every act, then it must go before. Preach that what you just said. <laughs> but it is so. Therefore, resolution must go. Preach it. That's what you just said. You smart. It is so the resolution must go before what? Christ. What? Christian. Then here is the reason that many come not on time and follow not a what? Christian. It should not be what? Christian. 
Yeah. But you, Terry, you think showing up here is going to showing up here? You think showing up here is, is Christianity? No. Thank you, it's sure is not. See, obedience is not only coming here, but it's also when you ain't in my presence, Terry. Uh huh. That's what Paul told the Philippians. You just didn't obey when I was there. You also obey when I ain't around. That's because you got resolution. You resolute. And here is the reason that many come not on kindly, follow not a Christian course stoutly. There should not be a parent that should carry a man, but sound what? Yeah. While peace remains being professed, but in time of trouble for lack of resolution, what happened? Yeah. They that lay not the foundation sure and set not the pillars fast, what happened to them? So many rear up a brave what? Read, J.D. But ram it, sorry, but ram it not fast, therefore they totter. Read! Oh, he that totters has not that inward resolution to not to love God. And grace above all. Amen. Romans 1.18. Read. Generally, the fault is not ignorance that men fall, fall of, but the will breaks the bargain. Hey, keep your word, Kate. Because nope. you ain't resolute. So you break the bargain. You can't keep the word because you don't will to do it. So you keep coming up there making all these promises. You preach, preacher. You write a preacher. You did this preacher. But you ain't got a will to do this word. Maybe it matters on the will. That's why he said Come on, I say that to right here. That's why they, that's why he said earlier, the heavier matter is on the will. If you're not made willing, you're not going to be resolute. Amen. Read. Romans 1.18. Generally, the fault is not ignorance. But I don't give you enough word at it. Ain't like you like the knowledge of the word. You bought the books too. You got your highlighters. You got your notes. So you can't say you're ignorant. Okay. No. okay. No. You got your highlighter. You got all your good notes. You got them in order. You got your books highlighted and everything. What do you get that book that preacher? What book is that preacher? What do you write that preacher? What that book that? What do you get that? Book, that, you get that? Yeah, I got one book. Got to send it up here. But you ain't got what? You ain't got no resolution. You ain't got no purpose. <laughs> what you want? That's why I ask a question. What do you want? It ain't in the book. <laughs> That's God Almighty. Read, J.D., please. Romans 1.18. Generally, the fault is not ignorant. Come on. And follow, Come on. But the will breaks the bargain. Come on. And says, I will not be in prison. <laughs> Go ahead. Or be brought to the state for the truth. Thank you. I'm not dying for that. I'm not separating from my family from that. I'm not separating from my eternal, dis my eternal discussion for that. Not for no word. Read again, J.D., Romans 1.18. Romans 1.18. Generally, the fault is not ignorance that men fall on. But the will breaks the bargain and says, I will not be in prison or be brought to the state for the truth. And yet, we will make great profession too. I will say some, never be a papist, etc. What is resolu what resolution is this? The tongue speaks well, but what says the will? If that resolves not of it, it is nothing. If the king set not down his hand to laws, I have nothing to do with them. They are of none effect. Therefore, they are said to withhold and detain the truth in unrighteousness. Romans 1.18. You know you should do righteously, but you will not. Read that again. You know you should do righteously, but you will not. Because you've been informed with the word of God. You know what you're supposed you know, to do, but you don't will it. You don't, you're not determined. You don't purpose it. And you keep saying, I know, I know. That's stupid. Mm -hmm. Read, Jenny, read it again. You know you should. You know you should do righteously, but you will not. Thus you hold down the truth. Many think to go to heaven and yet buy and sell on the Sabbath and think to go to heaven with a sleepy profession and yet never make this resolution but they are deceived. You best believe it. I keep telling you, you ain't going nowhere. You keep thinking you're going somewhere. Because you come to sit here and hear this to us free. And how like right now in your notes. Keep thinking you're going somewhere. So nod your head. Say amen. It is a word of what, y'all? Or what? To who? Is resolution so unnecessary? Is that the way? Then let us be wise to begin at the right end. 
He that will live a holy life must do what? The wicked had laid a net for David's feet, and he had many what? Trouble. But what then? His heart was what? Or resolute. Psalm 50, 76. That was his what? Or his what? That was his body. Thank you very much, J.D. That was his foundation. That was his base. That's what maintained him. His heart was fixed. He held fast, firmly, resolved, were at. God let them do what they could, yet he knew what to what. So your heart would never be sound till your heart be what, y'all? Thus a man, if he, that of Daniel, Daniel 1.8, many fear, many fear entanglements would have hindered him, but he, Ruth 118, when she saw that she was, she left off speaking to her, as who should say, spare your breath, I am. The house stood fast because it was built upon a by rock is made a sound settling in what? And he that has this, he what? Acts 11, 23, cleave to the God, cleave to God with the decree of heart. It is not a matter of what, y'all. Let the heart be there. Oh, but what shall become of life, liberty, children, and profit? If I may have these, and God then welcome. No, so that is gracious, will not do thus. But it says, if I have not these, liberty, children, and profit, yet my decree is, God is mine. Care not about liberty. I don't care nothing about children. I don't care nothing about profit. I've got God. How you like that? <laughs> don't I die for it? I don't care if I don't have no liberty. I don't care if I don't have no children. I don't care if I have no profit, no wife, or nothing. I've got God. Hello, Candace? My faith. Best faith. You ain't lying, girl. Please. If I have not these, still my decree is God is mine. Though I die for it. This is the right way indeed. In Deuteronomy 5, 23, when God gave the law, he passed by fearfully like a flash of what? Right. It was the law given with what? Right. Then they feared him what? Right. Then everyone would be a what? Right. Do whatever he commands them, then they would hear it and do it. This they say, oh, well, said the Lord, that there was such a heart in them to do as they say. You say, well, these are good words, but it is nothing without what? Well, here's that sound what? Oh, that you had a heart to what? That whatsoever comes, though earth shake, the devil rage, yet having a heart resolved, you may persevere and do what? But how shall I get this resolution? Maybe for two things. That so you may attain unto it. Read, Regina. Judge according to the word. Judge how, Regina? Judge according to the word. Come on. Not according to the world. Come on. But otherwise you will misjudge and not resolve. Read. In Psalm 73, David judges by the outside of the world all that stumble and slip. Therefore judge upon these two grounds. Come on. Judge not by friends and neighbors and the like. Come on. But judge according to the balance of the sanctuary. Judged by the word. Thank you very much. Don't give a damn what your friends, what your neighbors, and people like them say. Read it again in Regina verse number one. Judge not by friends and neighbors and the like, but judge according to the balance of the sanctuary. Judged by the word. Read. It is a fine and pleasant thing to be in honor, yet it is but a lying vanity, said the word. There is but one thing necessary. Psalm 62, 9, 10. If riches increase, set not thy heart upon them. At the day of death, your riches cannot comfort you. Therefore, set not your hearts upon them. Judge them by the word that says, there is but one thing necessary. Come on, I Judge not by the present view, but by the consequent, and consider what will be at that day. You think liberty is sweet, but look not at the present, but the glory of a good court is afterwards. Mark the end. And so look at Dives and Lazarus. Dives! Oh, Dives and Lazarus. No one wants to be in Lazarus' condition now in his life. Who would not want to be a Dives now? Dives! Dives now. To go and brave Satan. Satan! Satan. A fair deliciously every day. A fair deliciously every day. Read, Carolyn. 
Read, uh, Ronnie. But look to the end. They both died. And Lazarus goes into Abraham's bosom, that is, into heaven, and Davides to hell. Whether, whether hadst thou rather be David or Lazarus now? David! <laughs> Rich! That's what we'd rather be now. Free. I make no question, but all will say, it were better to be a Lazarus now. So judge of these things by the end and consequence, whether is whether is it better to study the word uh -oh. and to lay down pride uh -oh. or to vault it and play the what? Ruffian. 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 Criminals. You judge. So judge of these things by the end and consequence, whether it's better to study the word and to lay down pride, because that's why you don't study the word, or to bark pride and play the ruffian, the criminal. One is praying, another is what? Praying. I just told you that. Which is easiest? The one is not troubled with Mary, and that were best if it would hold. But judge by the end, and imagine the day of judgment came. Whether would you be then a broken heart or a ruffian? Second Thessalonians 1 7 the way. Until you are in trouble, rest with us when the Lord Jesus shall be revealed from heaven with his mighty angels and flaming fire, taking vengeance on them that know not God, because you ain't studying no word. You think because you came here on Thursday, Sunday, and you went to the studio, and you listened to me on Facebook, you think that you're going to have. No, 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 no. 2 Thessalonians 1, 7 and 8. And to you who are troubled, rest with us when the Lord shall be revealed from heaven with his mighty angels and flaming fire, taking vengeance on them that know not God nor obey his gospel. God comes and saith to the troubled, rest, thou hast been troubled before ever eat. But as for him, that ruffians it out now, the Lord Jesus will come a flame and fire and vengeance against him on whom will God take vengeance. The text says on them that know him not. Now judge by the end, whether these is best. Say, say, because you like talking to yourself. Say, uh, conscience, whether would as you have God find these sporting, since you like to have eternal discussions, talk to yourself. Say this. Say, say conscience. Since you like internal discussions, that's what he's saying. Say conscience. This is you. Talk to yourself. You like doing it anyway. <laughs> you like doing it anyway. Say conscience. Whether would you have God find you conscious, sporty, play, or pray at that day? Say, conscious, is it not better now to be troubled than hereafter everlastingly to be confounded? Judge with righteous judgment. It is tedious to be with Paul in prison, but it is not tedious to be with him in heaven. Judge, therefore, is the word judgment, and you shall not be what? So what he just told you, you are what? You deluded. Question, but how should I get my heart to it? Answer. And I told you this earlier. Look up to God. Labor to set the highest price on God. Heavenly things. That by two helps. Daily suggest. Discover. Show to your own heart a greater worth than spiritual. That's what you do. Show to your own understanding. A greater worth than spiritual. That in the temporary things you do everything. There is some good in these things. Be ready to convince your heart. That there is more good in spiritual things. Be ready to convince your heart. There is more good in spiritual things than it is in temporary things. If there is more good in spiritual things. The devil would forestall the market. That means to ambush. To prevent a hindrance. He set a high price upon these things. These temporary things. It's a high price. It's a high price you'll pay for the temporary. You'll lose your life with the temporary. You pay a high price for the temporary. You pay a high price for the temporary. It costs you. And you ain't got enough to pay. You ain't got nothing to pay. It costs you to live in the temporary. Remember that. The devil sets a high price. 
Remember that. The devil will forestall or ambush the market and set a higher price upon these things. That's the temporal things than on the spiritual. Labor you to see more work in grace than in other things. When your covetous heart say, I will be rich, on then presently say, what inheritance would there like have? When your voluptuous heart say, I must have my pleasure. Keep, ask yourself, you like talking to yourself, he's saying? You like your internal discussions? Tell you what to discuss with yourself. We'll start again. Daily suggest and find and show, discover. Discover means you go find something. Daily suggest and discover, show to your own mind a greater worth in spiritual than in temporal things. There is some good in these temporal things, but be ready to convince your heart that there is more good in spiritual things. The devil would ambush, prevent, or hinder the market and set a higher price upon these temporary things than on spiritual. Labor you to see more worth in grace than in temporal things. When your covet is hard, say, say it, speak to you. Internal discussion. When your covetous heart says, I will be rich, oh then presently say, what inheritance is there like heaven? When your voluptuous heart says, see you having this eternal discussion, your voluptuous heart is talking to you, I must have my pleasure presently. Answer back and say, what pleasure is there like the pleasure the soul hath in Christ? Look at those joys in Christ forever. That is better than all this. This joy is madness. Thus when the soul would be stealing away off of the best things, would the soul have ease? Why is it better to be bound in prison than to be bound in unbelief? As a man when he goes to buy a commodity, he desires to see the best things. Whom have I in heaven or earth but thee, O Lord? We have him here now in mercy. We shall have him in mercy hereafter in glory. That's the Lord. And what would we have more than this? When Satan lay, lays disgraces and discouragements up on good courses and also miseries and vexations that come by those disgraces and discouragements, at that time be you ready to show more misery and bad courses. Have reasons to cry down those crack commodities. And when he says to burn for the gospel, that is a miserable thing. Say you, it is better to burn here than in hell afterwards. The devil says, wicked men are brave men. They shall be damned too, the devil says, as they let. That God keeps thee from honor, but I say, yeah. if I had it, it might be my destruction. I am here troubled, but I shall be forever confident. Therefore, regard not what Satan shall buzz. I keep telling it, ain't you? Regard not what Satan shall buzz at the ear of your heart. I keep telling you it's not you. It's not you. It's Satan buzzing at the ear of your heart. The ear of your mind. The ear of your understanding. And you listen. That's Satan buzzing at the ear of your mind. That's your inner ear. Regard not what Satan not what you, what Satan buzz, and you start discussing it. Regard not what Satan shall buzz at the ear of your heart concerning trouble in the life. But say you, though I, though I am here troubled, yet I shall be saved. Thus let not Satan forestall. That means to thwart, hinder, and turn away. Let not Satan Turn away your heart with these 